Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. So, a little kitty drinking water out of a stream, maybe. The kitty ends up looking like some weird kind of bug at first, hey? Just getting those shapes in. And I'm going four times the speed and voicing over here. Just getting a feel for what looks comfortable. If something, if the cat doesn't look comfortable in any way, then I just kind of think of what do I need to do to fix that. And always correcting as I go. Checking angles and shapes, but not worrying about perfection. Worrying about perfection is a really good way to spoil the fun of it. Don't like that back leg the way it's shaped. I'm going to fix that up a little. I love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment about yourself or your cat or whatever you want to tell me. What you want to learn about cat drawing, help build this awesome community of crazy cat artists. Little toe beans. And I like that back paw, but I didn't like where it was. I felt like to make Kitty more comfortable, it needed to be up a bit higher, so... Even though I liked it, I changed it. Fix those toe beans. I like them now. really strengthen up the lines now. No, I don't like that. I was going by the photo instead of by, by the drawing and I went by the drawing second time and it did way better. Now one eye is sort of peeking at us. Fix up some water there so Kitty looks like it's having a drink out of a nice little stream or pond. And we'll put a suggestion of that other rear paw in there. Whiskers kind of helped Kitty to know when they're at the right distance from the water too, don't they? I've slowed down to two times the speed here now, just to finish it up. Just strengthen up some of those water lines. Looks like a little ripple. And we'll soften the whiskers up a bit so they're not taken over. Thank you so much for watching today. Lots more videos to come. So tell me what you want to see. And we'll see you next time.